Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today we're going to be getting into Batania and getting Extra Utilities Grid Power set up. Alright guys, so not exactly a plan for today. I'm just going to try and get through some Batania as much as we can. Um, in between episodes, I went ahead and made this uh, iron chopping or iron copper or lumber axe. Um, and the reason I put copper on there is because you can see here. I'll go ahead and just chop just this section down right here. We're going to get a ton of experience. And I mean quite a lot. Let's actually break. Um, we have to wait for all this to be connected. But um, as you can see, pretty good amount of experience coming out of there. And, uh, you know, it's not taking too much durability hits. It's doing a pretty good job of what it's supposed to. I mean, it's it's there. I I'm, I'm really need this because I need that... Um, I need the biomass, so I need a pretty good amount of saplings, and this is actually working out pretty nice, and I can't really complain with the saplings right here. Um, yeah, I'm just replanting though, because if I start using more than I'm making, then uh, yeah, I'm going to run out, and then I will have to go out in the wilderness and find some more, which does not sound very fun right now, um, but yeah. They're, they're all planted. Um, just a nice little tree farm here. Um, yeah, that's stuck up there. I'm good. But uh, as you can see, I did get, you know, eight extra saplings. And all I'm doing is taking those saplings, throwing them in there with some water in here. And uh, I'm moving the biomass over here. And I've made quite a few. Um, I actually have some already. Some of these greenhouse blocks in here. And so they're, they're working out pretty nice. Um, these guys are, of course, running at full power to keep these machines up and running. Um, but, you know, they're doing a good job, and they're actually keeping up with the RF consumption. Okay, so, um, with the greenhouse, uh, greenhouse brick, or block, yeah, block, um, we need some brick. Because we have to make regular brick, like this, and then we split it up. Like so. And all we have to do is split this up. Right, there we go. And bam, we got 32 of these blocks already. We can just throw the regular bricks in there and got the greenhouse block right here. And the greenhouse block is how we're going to get a few things. So, wow, that's instant. So as you can see, that is instantaneous. I wonder if the wood's the same way. Um, I did try and automate the wood, and um, it did not go as planned. Uh, there was a, a crafter, and let me find it. It's um, I, I put it in this chest. Yes, the analog crafter. And now this thing is really cheap to make. You can use it for other things, um, but you can basically pump it full of whatever thing you want it to craft, and it should craft it. The only thing is it doesn't work very well at buckets. Um, so that's the problem I was having. I wanted to automate this process of the creosote in the wood to make the uh, the wood, and um, I think it's going to be easier just to do bucket by bucket, and uh, have it an inventory full of planks, and then just take the tank right here with creosote oil, and change all these configurations. But yeah, I have I tried to get it to work, but uh, it just would not would not work with me. Um, but yeah, we we basically need the buckets. I have a couple buckets in here. I only really need one though. So, bucket and then inside the crafting table, let's go ahead and get a bunch of wood. Like that throw all of this in here and it should evenly distribute everything. There we go. And now I can just go back and forth with my bucket. Not the best thing, not the best way to do this, but I mean, it gets the job done. It's slow, painful, I know, but we got to get it done. Some way or another. Okay, let me go ahead and put one bucket. I think it's going to be easier with just one bucket. 
And we only need a few of these at the moment. So we'll just keep doing this over and over again. And we should get at least a stack, hopefully. That's close enough. Okay. So we can use this now, treated wood, to make our other wood. I, I really need to get rid of this thing. I, I made the basic coal ref refiner um, to try it out, and it definitely did not work. So yeah, this happens instantly. That is nice. I'm liking that. And then this uh, axe should work on this. Oh, oh wait, I'm using the shears. Uh, my lumber axe should work. Yes, it does. Okay, so that's going to be easy for us to um, basically get started with Batania. Go ahead and break all this. Bam! Okay, um, so living woods. Living wood. Let's go ahead and get my crafting table on a stick. We should be able to make a few of these and get ourselves a wand. And what color do, wand do I want? That is the question. I usually go with orange and blue. But not always dark blue, usually light blue. But I'm going to go with these colors. I think I want... I think that's perfect. Just like that. Perfect, perfect. Okay, so we have our different modes, of course. Same old, same old Batania. Um, and let's see. Uh, we can probably get started with some other things. Um, I do know that um, the living rock is how we actually get to the extra utility. So, bam. That used quite a bit of power, but it made polished stone. And I don't remember, I think it's six polished stone to get started with Batania or with extra utilities. Bam. So let we'll let that recharge, do its thing. Um, and I can now get started with extra utilities because I have that polished stone. That's going to be used to make, um, yeah, the manual mill. And then from the manual mill, I'll be able to make some other things because stone burnt is used to make the water mill and stuff like that so I don't know how much um, extra utilities um, is in here that's going to be really useful to us early on but for right now definitely definitely use a few things like um, I don't know if the uh, the miner and stuff uses grid power or not but you can always try it all right so now that we have that started with Batania, let's see, can we get, I mean, we need some more stone. So we'll take some of this. That's so nice it happens instantly. It usually takes about a minute or so. I guess because it's so difficult to make the actual stuff that, I don't know, I don't know why. <laughs> All right, we're going to continue making some more. There we go. Awesome. All right, getting some functional flora would be something that we could, or um, some generating flora would be something that would be useful to us right now. And let's see. Um, it's talking about the runic altar, but we can't really get into that yet. Um, the runic altar, of course, is how we're going to make runes, and we don't even have the stuff to get there. Mana manipulation. So we need a mana pool. And it's talking about a diluted mana pool, which I don't think you have to have, because it looks like a mana pool is right here. So we should be able to make a mana pool right off the bat. Yep, no diluted mana pool for me. Okay. And what else? That's about it. So a mana spreader is something else we're also going to need. Um, but not right away. Oh, actually, yeah, we are going to need it right away. What am I talking about? We are going to need this right away. Okay, let's hop in here. Um, gold, ingot, and what else? That's it. Living wood. Just living wood, a gold ingot. Do I have a gold ingot? That's. Do I, I wonder. I do. 
So that makes that really easy. Golding it and living wood. And a mystical flower. Oh wait, it's probably living wood planks. Let me double check. No, just living wood. I'm just seeing living wood. Living wood with gold and with a flower. Not working. All right, maybe I'm doing something wrong. Let me sleep here real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, so I figured out our problem and that is it's using the uh, JEI to um, do the recipes. So if we look at Mana Spreader, yeah, we're, we're not even close here. Um, we need to get into Astral Sorcery before we can uh, get started with uh, making Batania stuff. So um, an Illumination pa uh, Power or Illumination Powder and glass lens are both part of astral sorcery and um, the starlight infuser is like right at the very end of of everything so um, this is like the highest tier stuff right there I mean that's the highest tier altar infuser um, so that's like towards the end of astral sorcery so you have to go through the entire astral sorcery mod before you can even get started with Batania so I was probably rushing Batania a little too much, but uh, things like that's going to happen. But we do need, we did need to get into at least getting a, a pure daisy to be able to get, um, to get this polished stone. So that was just a gate in itself. Um, rock hounding is probably going to be something that we're going to get started in the uh, next episode. Um, I'm kind of interested in that mod and uh, it seems pretty easy. You just have to uh, know what you're doing. I mean, going into that mod pretty blind, it's probably not going to be the best bet. Um, so I'm definitely not going into that mod blind. I've already learned quite a lot about it, um, and I really needed to do so. So um, that's something that we needed to do, and I did. So, all right. Uh, well, Batania is kind of off the list. So uh, like I said at the beginning, I wanted to learn a little bit or do a little bit of Batania. I've already, I really know how to do Batania, but um, I just want to get that out of the way. Now... What can we get started with? I guess we can go ahead and get started with extra utilities. And I mean, we can go ahead and get our, uh, get started with some of this stuff. Hopefully we can. I have not looked at this yet. Um, so we just need obsidian, a redstone, a resonating uh, redstone crystal. That's all stuff that should be easy to make. Yes, it is. Okay, all this stuff is relatively easy. So, um, we needed this to get into extra utilities. Okay. Um, I know I'm going to need possibly two more of these things. So we'll go ahead and get that. Um, it does use quite a bit of power, as you can see. These guys are pumping out the power, trying to get as much power to this as it can. They only do 5 RF a tick, I think. Or, yeah, I think it's 5 RF a tick. So really, we only have 20 RF a tick right now going into the Atomic Reconstructor. So... Um, but those guys are actually pretty cheap. Making these uh, survival generators, you can make a lot of them if you need to. But, I mean, that's going to be quite a bit of resources for very little power generation. Um, but, anyways, we have the polished stone. So, let's get started. Um, first thing we're going to need to make is going to be that resonator. And we're going to need something to power the resonator. I do have two redstone resonate resonating crystals that you do get from mining um, redstone. You don't get very many of them, but you do get some. And then we're going to need some obsidian. Right here. Also, I wanted to go over this, the ender dust. I do have quite a bit of ender dust. And if you look at what it's used for, it makes ender pearls. So um, we have quite a few ender pearls right here. And honestly, mining this stuff, it's everywhere down underground. So getting this ender dust is awesome. It also sometimes spawns endermen, by the way, while you're down there. Um, just in case you didn't know. But we can go ahead and get this. Um, hopefully we have just about everything. I am getting pretty low on iron. I have not gone mining yet. Um, and it looks like I'm missing that hammer. I, could, I should probably go ahead and make one of those. I think it's three sticks and two smooth stone. There we go. If I do remember this recipe correctly. There we go. 
and I can throw that back in there. Now I can make iron again. Okay, so our iron problem's not too bad, but we do need it. Okay, and then regular redstone. And we should be good to go. There we go, we have a resonator. Okay, so there's some things we could start off with. We could start off with solar panels, okay? Pretty expensive, honestly, if you think about it. We have polished stone, and we only get three GP, and we need eight GP to get to the to get polished stone to change. Um, the power, the manual mill gives us more than one GP, of course. Um, it says one GP, but that's not what it gives us. Um, I think it gives us sixteen or eight. I think it's sixteen though. But our resonator, we can go ahead. And make this we have should have everything in our inventory to make it seems like sticks always come up in this pack okay so sticks for everything we only need four of those and a, one piece of wood and thus our inventory is full okay I don't want to continue with our inventory completely full here looks like we got some stuff in here that we don't actually need there we go. And that should be fine. I think I need... Ah, if I need sticks, I can just make them. Okay. Back to that. We need this guy, the gear. And we should be able to make the manual mill. And of course, we get the achievement for manual mill. Which is fine. Okay, we'll put a resonator here. We can put our manual mill on top. Honestly, we can put the manual mill, manual mill anywhere. But I want to put it there. Um, the water mill requires six stone burnt and, of course, a resonating crystal and all that good stuff. So, the first thing I want to do is to take this six polished stone. As you see, it needs eight GP. Well, if you click on here, we're getting 15 GP. And it's going to continue to go until we're done. So, that's uh, that's something that uh, I'll be doing off camera. And uh, hopefully I'll get all these six done here real quick. I've already got one down and... It's already working on the second one, so I'll be right back. Okay, so we have all the stone burnt we need. Now we need to worry about getting some ender pearls. We need at least one ender pearl because to get this done, we're going to have to have that. There we go. And we're going to need some more iron. I'm pretty sure... Oh, we have enough iron. We have plenty. Um, and we have enough redstone. Okay, so making the water mill. We have this. We're going to need these ender shards. So we're going to need this, which requires a stick. Like always, just a good old stick. And I think it's like, like that, yes. And that'll give us a glass cutter. Put that with the ender pearl and we get a bunch of ender shards. And this has a really neat animation, as you can see. When we go down, it like changes. So cool. Okay, so eight separate shards. We only need one shard to make this. Resonating crystal. And then we should be able to make everything else. So we need eight torches, which of course we're going to need some uh, sticks. And we should be good after we have all those. Alright, eight torches. Uh, we need a couple pieces of wood. And I think that's it. Like a water mill. Water mill would be good. We're fixing to be good with the water mill. There we go. And this will generate 16, I uh, do believe, off of two buckets of water. Um, I don't really want to sleep right now. We need to put a backpack on us. Two buckets of water. You have a little spot down here. By the way, the bog earth. Um, this one has not changed since I placed it down. I have no idea what's going on with this guy. But he has not changed. Um, probably have to pick him up and move him somewhere else. It stayed at that 60 this whole time. Um, but we can find somewhere to put this. It doesn't. It just has to be somewhere in the world. Um, so right here would probably be fine. So the mill needs to go right here. We need to clear out a little section. A little hole in the ground. I can move this, by the way, at any time as well. We get one more bucket of water. Need a water in the corner, another bucket in this corner, and then the water mill right in the middle. And as you can see, it's generating 16. So, 
we're good. Now we have 16 grid power, so we do have our grid power set up. Um, anything else with extra utilities, we should have enough power for. Um, so if I wanted to make, um, let's see, what else, what else could we use that uses grid power? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Uh, I know the deep dark portal doesn't use it, <laughs> but uh, some of these, some of these things do use it. Let me f figure this out. Um, of course, the resonator uses it, and you put upgrades in here, it will use grid power. Any of the generators, which I think most of them are disabled, this one isn't. Um, that one's not too bad to make. Powered furnace. Okay. So it does require a few things. Oh, this right here from Rock County, so it's preventing us from making it right now. Uh, the metal alloy is used for a lot of stuff, so... Uh, we just have to keep that in mind. Uh, also, we're going to need a lot of redstone next time whenever we get into rock hounding. So stick around if you're if you're looking forward to get for uh, looking forward to see me getting into, into rock hounding. Uh, but just yeah, keep an eye out for that. That will be happening soon. Uh, we need a lot of glowstone and a lot of redstone because that's how we're going to power it at first. Um, because I can't see. Maybe look up rock hounding. Um, there is supposed to be this guy, the induction heating interface, but there's no recipe for it. So I don't know if there's supposed to be a recipe for it, but uh, at the moment there is not one that I see. Just telling me I must place it here. So it might be something that we have to make. I don't, I don't know a special way. Uh, but yeah, this mod also includes the drying pallets, which is basically... Um, it's right here. It uses it changes moist peat chunks into dried peat, and dried peat is used for coal, basically. Coal torches, peat coal blocks. Yeah, it's just coal, basically. Um, it can be turned into the coal in an industrial squeezer, like the uh, the coal coke coal. That's what I'm gonna call it from now on. The um, Anthracite, yeah, anthracite coal. So yeah, uh, yeah, just a few things that we've got done. Um, I mean, I really wanted to get grid power up and running, and that's what I did. Um, I got the uh, got into a little bit of Batania. We're kind of at a roadblock though, um, so we can't continue with Batania until we start with Astral Sorcery. And honestly, I don't think I want to start with Astral Sorcery because they there are still things in the works for Astral Sorcery, and uh, they kind of said kind of stick away or stay away from astral sorcery for a little while um, until some changes are made with that mod so I'm gonna be uh, getting with you guys whenever they say basically that astral sorcery is ready to go but until then Al, I'm gonna get killed by this little guy <laughs> look at him water water is like mobs enemy right here well if you guys enjoyed this episode please remember to click that subscribe button if you haven't already and also give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. And as always, thanks for watching.